My name is Kristen Hansen. I live here in central Menlo Park, and today I'll be delighted to take you all on a tour of our recently electrified remodel. Our process started with the decision that we wanted to remodel, and once we decided to do that, we decided that we would make electrification a central part of our remodel. For us, the primary motivation for electrifying was environmental. We wanted to do the best we could to reduce our environmental footprint without having to make too many sacrifices in terms of our creature comforts. For us, it was kind of a no-brainer, and we think it will prove to be a good economical decision, too. Uh, because we were electrifying, we opted to go with an all-electric induction range, and this has five induction burners on it and three oven chambers. It's an AGA induction range. I find that I don't really have a problem replicating the style and the flavor of cooking. We wok cook with this, we stir fry vegetables, we can get things blackened on the stove and definitely in the oven too, so there's no trade-off as far as I'm concerned. Next up, I'll just quickly show you the electric hot water heater. This works great for us. We get plenty of hot water whenever we need it. I will often run more than one appliance at a time, like the washing machine and the dishwasher. So it's working great. Next, I wanna show you our electric HVAC system. So this supplies all of our heating and air conditioning to the house. The electric heat versus gas, which is what we had before, it works great. And during the summertime, we're generating enough solar that all the energy we need for air conditioning is coming from that and none of it from the grid. This is where almost all of our electricity comes from. We have 26 380 watt panels and that adds up to a 9.88 kilowatt array. It generates all of our power in the summer months, most of fall and spring. It's really only in the winter that we draw a little bit of extra electricity from the grid. When we remodeled, we put in this pool for the first time and it's heated in two different ways. The primary way that it's heated is through solar piping that's installed on our garage roof. The secondary way that it's heated is with the use of the electric pool pump and that will kick in at times when we're not generating enough solar heat through the pipes. Right here in this closet, is where we keep the electric pool pump. It's pretty loud at the moment. This is a Pentair system. And this is our Tesla Powerwall. It stores half a day to a day of additional solar generated electricity, which again, lessens our need to draw from the grid. Since finishing the remodel and moving back in, we've wanted to continue down a path of making sure that we are being as energy efficient as possible, especially since we are continuing to draw from the grid a bit during the winter months. And so to help us with this, we have brought in Home Energy Analytics. This is a, an organization that provides energy efficiency advice to homeowners for free to us. It's provided through PG&E. I hope I've inspired others to consider electrifying as well.